Hey friends, this is Julie, and today I have a speed and agility cardio workout for you. You don't really need any equipment, just a little space. I am going to use a towel for a few of the exercises just to have a spot to aim for on the floor, but it is totally optional. You can do the workout without that. You can also use a small resistance band. It's just to have a little marker for hopping over, but you'll only need it for a few exercises, but like I said, you can do with that. So, there is impact, however, I will give you options for low impact, so don't worry, you don't have to jump. And are you ready to work? Have some water nearby, you might get sweaty. Hand towel if you wanna use it, and let's get warm. So let's do some nice big shoulder rolls. We're gonna work hard. We're going to work for 45 seconds, then we'll rest for 15 seconds, and we will repeat each exercise two times. So if you don't have a lot of space, don't worry, I don't either. We will be able to make it work where we are, but if you have space, use it up. Let's go forward. Nice big rolls. All right, let's go for some arm swings. So swing them up and back. Let's get the shoulders open. Last one, and little trunk rotations here. So twist it out. I hope you feel ready to work today. All right, hands on the hips. We're going to push those hips forward and then bend in half with the hamstrings. Push those hips forward. And over get those hamstrings nice flat back when you go forward. You should feel that nice stretch down the hamstrings. Let's do one more. Then I want you to hold it. Hold it right here and just let those hands fall towards the floor. If you want, you can put them on your thighs. Otherwise, just kind of let them hang. Feel that stretch in your hamstring. Go ahead and rotate it down into a nice runner's lunge. Let's get the legs ready. So we have a lot of quick movements, as in speed and agility. So we're gonna be working on our coordination and our quickness with our feet. But of course, you're gonna modify at any time. And let's straighten both legs. Switch legs, set the other back, nice big runner's lunge. So your goal for this workout is how quickly can you do the movements? How much speed can you get in those little footwork exercises that we have? And we're gonna try to work on using some power. So we wanna use our quick reactive power. It really helps to work on your speed and agility, it just makes you more coordinated, more nimble, but of course, if you also want to work at your own pace. So don't feel like you have to keep up with me. I want you to work what's comfortable for you. Straighten both legs. But I want you to challenge yourself too. All right, come on up. Before we get started, we're going to do one balance exercise. So I want you to stand on one leg and I want you to reach to the floor and come back up. So, it's really important that we work on our balance, especially as we get older. It helps us prevent injury if we are more balanced. So we're going to throw in just a few balance exercises right here in the beginning to get our body ready. We're going to do three on each leg. So as best as you can, keep that leg up. If you need to tap the floor, don't worry about it. Or if you need to hold on to something, like a chair, the wall, whatever, totally fine. So let's do three on this side. We're going to go down, float that leg to the back, touch the floor and come back up. Let's do it again. So we're squatting down to touch the floor, chest the same lifted. One more time on this side. And let's switch. Now, we might have one side better than the other, but that's okay. And back up. Oh, shoot, I have to put my leg down to get my balance again. Let's do one more. Great job, okay. Do you feel ready to work? Your first exercise, fast feet. 
with each one. So what you're gonna do is fast beat four times. One, two, three, four, chug it to the front. And again, one, two, three, four, chug it to the front. So fast beat with a little chug. If that is too much, and I want you to march fast, step forward and back. That would be your modification. So we're gonna do that for 45 seconds. We'll rest for 15. We'll do it a second time and then move on. Take a deep breath. Are you ready? Here we go. Back feet, chug it forward. And chug it forward. Get those arms going. Rotate yourself around if you want. Last one. Ah. Rest. How'd you do? Okay, next exercise, in and out runs. Just in and out. That's it, in and out, or march it in and out. Either one totally fine. The goal here, stay a little low, wide, narrow. That's all it is, wide and narrow. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Here we go. So in and out. Pump those arms. Stay up on your toes. No heels on the ground. Hang in there with me. Yeah, 15 seconds. You've got this. Three, two, one. Take a breather. Woo! We're gonna do that one more time. One more time, and then you'll need your small towel. Are you ready? One more time through, here we go. Now, can you pick up the speed just a little bit? As we get tired, we start to slow down, but not you, not today. We're going for it, right? How fast can you go? How quick can you move those legs? Five seconds, a little faster. Rest. Woo! I'm grabbing a sip of water and my towel. Okay, grab a little towel or a resistance band, anything you have around so that you can hop over your towel. If you don't have anything, don't worry. Pretend something there. No impact right here. Step over. Okay. We're 
going in three seconds. Are you ready? So hop over your little towel. Here we go. So just back and forth. Stay low. Good job. And I'm already out of breath a little bit. Okay, are we ready? Let's do it again. Keep those knees bent. A little pump in the arms going here. need it for right now. We're going into one exercise will be on the right, one on the left. It's a power knee. You're going to come down, power that knee up, or you're here. If you don't want to do the jump, don't worry about it. Totally fine. Are you ready? Right knee is going to power up. Use that momentum to get some power. Here we go. And up. This is where you get to use your power. If you're not jumping, you're really pulling that knee up, all right? Hang in there. Use those arms. Five seconds. One more. Rest. Ooh, that leg, right? A little on fire. Okay, we're gonna switch and do the other leg. Take a deep breath. Ooh, are you working hard like I am? Because I feel like I'm really, really working hard here. Ready, here we go. And up. Get that height. Pull the knee up. You got this. You have 15 seconds. We're almost there. Five seconds. I know you're getting tired. And rest. Oh, legs on fire, right? Grab a sip of water if you need it. Woo, okay, triple step. So, quick little feet. One, two, three, and a hold. One, two, three, hold, but quicker than that. So fast feet and a hold. Otherwise, march, hold, and hold. Ready, here we go. Little fast feet. And hold. So one, two, three, hold. Pull that knee up on the hold. There you go. I am breathing. 
breathing hard. Anybody else? Five seconds. And rest. Whew. Take a breather. We're gonna do that one more time. Whew. You'll use your, your towel. Sorry, I'm so tired, I can't talk. You'll use your towel for the next exercise. Ready? Here we go. Last time with the triples. If you have a lot of space, you can really travel this. Or you can keep it short and fast. The last 15 seconds. You got this. Five seconds. Rest. Whew. Grab your towel. Okay. It's just really to have your feet have a little goal. You got little taps here. If you don't have a towel, don't worry. You're just going to tap it. If you need no impact, you're here. Tapping it out. We're going in five seconds. Catch your breath. Ready? Here we go. So just tap that towel. Pump the arms. Go. Now I want you to keep that chest tall. Don't slump over. We're not here. We're here. We're tall. We're using good posture. Pumping the arms. Moving the feet. Hang in there with me. Five seconds, not ten. Five. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Last time. The 15 seconds go by really fast, doesn't it? Hang in there. My towel is moving around. Rest. Take a breather. We're gonna do that one more time. We just had two exercises after this one. Can you believe that? We're just moving through. Okay. 
Are you ready? Here we go, one more time. So this is a quick cardio workout. But when you move fast like this and you work hard, it doesn't have to be long. You just gotta give it all you've got. Back and forth, down your space, or your mat, whatever you're working with. Woo, I got the sweat running down my face. Hang in there, 10 seconds. Let's go faster. Speed it up, speed it up. You got this, move the feet. Three, two, one. Okay, this next exercise is gonna slow us down a little bit, but you're gonna use your power. You got three squats and a heel click. One, two, three, click your heels. If you are modifying, one, two, three, bring a foot in, one, two, three, other foot. You'll just alternate bringing each foot in to tap to the other one. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, click your heels. You don't have to slam them together. Go low in that squat. We're working on power here. I'm gonna show you modification. So back and forth. Here you go. Five seconds. Let's get one more in. Ooh, how are your quads? Taking a sip of water. We start again in 10 seconds. Last time through this exercise, and we're finishing it up. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, and click. Are you breathing? Make sure that you're keeping that core in too. I know, it's a lot to think about. There's so many things to be aware of when you're working out. But once you start focusing on them and you get in the habit of it, you won't have to think about it, your body will do it. Hang in there. 10 seconds. You can do anything. One more time. Oh. Okay, friends. How tired are you? <laughs> One more exercise. You're going down to the floor or to a plank, but this will be straight arm plank. We're doing plank shoulder taps. You can be on your knees or your feet. So if you're on your knees, back is straight, tap your shoulders. The goal though is to not rock. No rocking. We want to stay still. We're just picking up one hand to tap the shoulder. Are you ready for this? Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. Tap it out, nice flat back, pull the core in. Tap your shoulder, try to minimize the moving in the rest of your body. Make sure your weight is shoulders stacked on elbows, stacked on wrists. So not back here, right? That's too much, too hard on the shoulders. So keep that stacked, back is flat. Ten seconds, you got this. And rest. Sweat is dripping down off my mat. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that one more time. And then we're gonna pull you down. <laughs> Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go. If you're getting tired, you can come here. This is a great option. Make sure you're really bracing that core. How 
you doing? Hanging in there? All right, let's speed it up. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Let's switch legs. So when you go hard like that, you can go for a shorter period of time. Ooh. You know, we were working quick, fast movements, pretty intense. You don't have to go nearly as long to get a good workout. I am completely drenched in sweat. <laughs> let's sit back. The more you pull that toe up, the more it feels. So I just adjusted because I couldn't feel it as deep as I wanted to. So if I pull the toe up, I get a better stretch. All right, let's come up to standing. We're gonna stretch those quads because we've got a lot of quad work with that jumping. Grab your ankle, top of your foot, kneecap pointed towards the floor and hip pushing forward. If you come back here, you're not getting the stretch. You gotta really pull the pelvis into neutral and really your tailbone and your kneecap pointed towards the floor. And then you should feel the stretch down the front of the quadricep. How do you feel? Good, tired, I feel both, good and tired. It's the best way to be after a workout, right? Okay, let's switch. Other foot. We're gonna do one more balance move just to end this. Balance is actually super important in life. It really is because we use it for so many things and we tend to get injured when we have poor balance. And balance is one of my challenging things. And so I try to work on it often because I wanna be better at my balance and I have made really big improvements with just working on it. But you can always start up with holding on to something and then kind of testing your balance. Okay, what you're gonna do is take your foot, cross it on top of your other leg, so just above the knee. We're gonna sit back, so you're getting a stretch here, but you're gonna come to the top, keep that leg there. Do it again. Come down, so like in a squat, back to the top. And come down, back to the top. Let's do it one more time. And back to the top. Okay, so we did four. We're gonna do four on the other leg. So cross that leg. If you need to hold on to something, it's okay. This is how we work up to it. And then you can kind of let go here and there. See how you're doing. Squat it back. Oh, good stretch in the outside of that hip there, though, right? Come to the top. Sit, whoop. Sit back. Helps if you can stare at something. Put your focus somewhere. Definitely helps. You're getting a stretch there, but you're also working that standing leg in its balance. And come up. Let me give you one more pointer with balance. So with your foot, you wanna have that weight under the ball of your big toe and your pinky, and then a little back in your heel. Not up on your toes, but you want that, like your toe, like your foot to be able to spread, and you can feel the pressure like on underneath the big toe and the pinky toe. So you're kind of spreading that pressure and a little into the heel. It's easier to hold your balance. 
Okay, friends, deep breath to the top. One more time. Thank you for working hard with me today. That was a lot. I'm so, so proud of you. Comment down below, tell me how you did. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in the next workout. Bye.